What's up, crew? Construct, I'll come at you guys raw. Uh, thanks for coming along for the ride. Check it out. I know uh, I'm back to the Atrix for this one because this one's important. This is a one shot. Check it out. My friend, Brother Mac. Original Order 77 came a knocking. What? Brother, you and I both know this one, this one's special to me. Straight out of England, brother. <laughs> Man, let's get it cut open. And to, uh, to honor you, along with uh, this unboxing, figure I show you. Uh, do it first and foremost with the Stormhawk. I'll let the uh, the voting go on for a little while longer, but it seems like you guys want to see me save the uh, original grips. And uh, I did a couple modifications. You know, I, I can't do much right now. I can't use a machine yet. My uh, thumb's healing well, but it's still, you know, it got that squeeze it fast. This one works slow. Got that stretching feeling. Got it, though. But, so, looks like you guys want to see these go back on. So I might as well bring you along for the ride when I do. <clears throat> Next. I went ahead, I was thinking I almost put a dang swedge, a mid swedge on this thing, but I didn't. So instead, what I did, never guess what just happened. <laughs> I kid you not, it just bit me again. Keep rolling. <laughs> Knucklehead. So what I did is I knocked off the sharp edges and I made this look just like a talon retracting, uh, you know, a, a talon coming out of a, of a claw. This is right where the handle material, let me put it on to show you. It looked like there's a talon coming out of a Right? The talons aren't squared. They're rounded off, just like nature. So I broke all the edges. That, or I should say, I, I beveled the, the edges. Chamfered. Uh, might be called chamfered. All the edges. And. I brought that to a little more of a point. Not much. I don't want to stab you, but if I go ahead and grip it in, strike you with this, or come in, it will do its job. I can't believe it. You believe that just happened? My right hand was lonely, doing all the work, you know what I mean? When, you know, so it's trying to find its way out of task assignments. So, <laughs> brother, this one ought to be called the blood ladder, not the storm bomb. Let's, let's get her done, brother. Enough about this. I'm honored it for your friendship. Thank you. Down deep, thank you. Let's see what happens. Oh, man, I want to start over so bad. <laughs> ah, we can't. We got to go. Continue forth. We're coming at you raw. I can't believe I cut myself. If you hung out with me for this first four and a half minutes, thank you so much. Thank you. Your respect means a lot. And also, I'll have run up here the whole time in this corner. I'll have uh, um, the original owner 777's channel. Uh, he's a, Brother Mac is a is a very good, honest, quality people. For now, let's get this thing cut open before I get hurt again. This 
this thing just slides through paper and flesh and flesh. This is this still the primary bevel. I have, I have yet to even sharpen this dang thing. Oh, check it out. Oh, you guys want to see? Oh, yeah. What up? Oh, oh, bro. Oh, nasty awesome. Oh, I love this knife. I already know what it is. Oh, bro. I got to work a little bit. What? Fast. Seki City, Japan. VG10 Spider Coast Steel. One of the better of the FRN uh, handles that I've seen on a Spyderco because it is contoured out just like old Constructo likes doing. It's got its hourglass shape and it is thicker at the top than it is at the bottom. Beautiful, beautiful. Not Extremely sharp, but she is not dull by any means. That's uh, hmm. Let's get the old uh, what's this? My American rifleman. Oh, I caught the. Got the uh, serrations, obviously. Let's see about this. Cuts. Serrations are sharp also. Pretty dang good. Uh, I love it. Right now the uh, name of this blade escapes me. I'm sorry for that. I'll annotate that right here. Boop. Actually I'll have right now. That'll get booped in. Uh, original Order 77. This is a link. So if you click on this with your mouse, you click on it, it'll bring you right to his channel so you can show him some support. This is that uh, um, steel ball bearing cage lock. Uh, so the ball itself acts as the detent. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. So it pushes back, rolls it out of the way, and then as it comes up, that ball bearing pushes itself into the lock. Looks like it's has bronze phosphor bushings in there. So detent the the cages itself is a detent. Very cool. Very very cool. I love it. Brother, this is this is something excellent. Thank you so much. Brother Mac, you hooked me up, man. This is a phenomenal, phenomenal birthday gift. Thank you. It's humbling, bro. It's huge, very well milled out liners. It has two sides stainless steel. It, it's kind of odd. It's almost like it has the same setup as a a lock back where it has that almost like torsion bar but it doesn't move see what I'm saying see, if I, see it 
what I think that is, is I think it's actually milled out. Holds a spring in the ball. I think that's a one piece system. Hmm. Very, very cool. Very ingenious design. I'm honored to own this, my friend. Thank you very much. Very cool swedge on this. I was just talking about how I wanted to swedge that out and I ended up doing it. Check this out. Very cool in similarity. Love it. Love it. Absolutely love it. Love it. Down deep, brother. Thank you so much. For now, everyone, thank you for your time. Thank you for your view. Thank you for letting me bleed on camera one more time. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, man, Don Deep, if you guys... Yeah, I'm, I'm humbled right now, man. Humbled, brother. Thank you so much. Seriously. For now. Hey, everyone. Have a wonderful week. Um, man, be blessed. I sure am. Thank you for your friendships and thank you for your respect. If you no haven't noticed the theme of this, thank you. I might even title that. Thank you. Out.